tremendous final round. Scotty Scheffler, round of 64. And this, one of the pivotal shots of the day. Par 5, 16th. Little bunker. Massive shot. Easy tap in birdie. Two pars at 17 and 18, and 20 under stood up. Three different players had a crack at it, trying to tie him, and just couldn't get it done. Johnson Wagner is down there. Give us a look at what that shot was like. Johnson? Well, Rich, uh, Scotty, what a performance. I, I kind of thought about trying to recreate that uh, tee shot he hit on 12, but uh, some of the guys in the, in the trailer, Kevin Casey in particular, said I would have had to have moved up at least 30 yards to be able to get to the green like Scotty did. So I've chosen a little bit easier shot. Scotty got a great break in this bunker today. This is a small bunker. You can get a lot of lies up against this lip and have no stance. And this is a pretty basic bunker shot, uh, other than the fact that the Players' Championship's on the line and that there's a penalty area just over. What it looked like he did to me was he was trying to execute the shot to land it up there perfectly about six feet short with some spin but if it comes out heavy he had the buffer of the flat and the down slopes to work with so we'll see what we got tonight the sand here is just perfect you can really give it a good wallop Blocked it a little bit, but hey, I think uh, it's probably the best shot I've hit all week, and uh, this was pivotal. Scotty's last birdie of the day. The shot he hit into 17 was excellent, right to the middle of the green, conservative, and then 18, I think he got a bad bounce, and uh, it should have been even closer. Hey, listen, uh, I'm impartial. I wasn't pulling for anybody other than a good tournament, but I got to admit, I was pulling for you on that one, buddy. <laughs> I really was. I got to say, listen, I've really enjoyed your segments all week. I know you've had a frenetic day, four hours this morning on live from. You've been out in the field going back and forth, but I know it's not lost on you the importance of this day and how entertaining it was. So just looking back on the day, uh, what was your take about the frenetic energy of this event? It was incredible. That back nine was electric. I mean, we had Scotty Scheffler, Wyndham Clark, Xander Shoffley, and Brian Harmon all with a chance to win. And as Brian just said in his presser, Scotty just out-executed. They all had their chances. I mean, the, the putt Xander missed on 17, Wyndham's putt on 18. It seems like on 18, both Brian and Wyndham, I've never seen anybody keep that putt on 18 above the hole. It was the same for Kevin Kisner when he had a putt very similar to win and regulation when Ricky Fowler won in the playoff. Everybody reads that putt low, but it was a great day for golf. More importantly, a great day for the PGA Tour. I think we've been starved for a finish like this, and, I mean, the weather was spectacular. I, I can't wait to come back next year to TPC Sawgrass. Uh, Johnson, great week. We really enjoyed everything that you did, and uh, we'll see you in a few days. Way to go. Thank you, guys.